Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 56 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm just going to give you a couple different methods that you could isolate an image so you could view it without distractions and get an idea whether you like it or not or get an idea where you are in the processing. Is it perfect? Is it over-processed? Should you do a little more processing? Sometimes if you isolate it from everything that is around it, you could get this uh, better opinion on the image. Now, of course, as you look at the image in Lightroom, you have a lot of distractions. You have the top panel, the bottom panel, the left panel, the right panel, and you could close panels down. It'll give you a little more room. But in my opinion, that's a little cumbersome. There are some keyboard shortcuts that allow you to view the image much more effectively. The first one, and the one I use probably the most, is full screen mode. You hit the F key on your keyboard. And if you hit it once, the image just goes to full screen. And you can look at it and you can see maybe if there's a sensor spot or two that you should get rid of, if you like the processing, if you should dial it back, whatever. Hit the F key again and you're back into Lightroom. Now another method that is very popular is called Lights Out. You hit the L key on your keyboard and if you hit it once, by default, what Lightroom will do is dim everything around the image by 80%. Hit L key again, and everything gets blacked out totally. Hit the L key again, and then you're back into Lightroom. Now, how much you darken Lightroom from that first time you hit the L key is actually controlled in Preferences. So if you go to Lightroom Preferences, and you go over to the Interface tab, you can see right here there's a section Lights Out. First you could control the screen color, by default it's black. You could control the dim level, default is 80%. If you don't like 80, you could change it to 50, 70, or 90. Um, I prefer to just keep mine on 80, and then when I hit the L key once, it dims everything by 80%. Hit L key again, it's totally blacked out. Hit L key again, and we are back looking at Lightroom as we normally would. Now what a lot of folks don't realize is this is available in grid view as well. So if you go to grid view by hitting the G key on your keyboard, you can see that what I often do is I will process the same image multiple ways. What I could do is I could select one. Because I have a Mac, if I hold my command key in and click on subsequent images, they'll get selected as well. If you have a PC, hit hold the control key in then you could click on subsequent images now hit the L key on your keyboard hit once it dims everything by 80 percent hit it again it blacks out everything around in this case four images so I get better look at them maybe I like you know this one better than this one or whatever and then you could get an idea what you like don't like from that view hit the L key again we're back into grid view and we could then just look at the images by hitting the E key on the keyboard to go to loop view, look at the images individually, uh, go to the develop module and process it some more, back down the processing, export it, whatever you want to do, you could do from that point on. So that's it. I mentioned it was a short video. I just wanted to show you a few different ways that you could isolate an image to get an idea whether or not you like it, whether you should pro uh, change processing, process it more, whatever. Hope that helps. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.